Hello and welcome to Let's Play Railroad Tycoon 3. As you can see, we're going to start up a new scenario today. Uh, unfortunately, I lost all of my save files. The game kept on glitching out and actually I couldn't even get in the game for a little while. I thought I was going to have to reinstall the whole thing, but I got rid of the save files and got it working again. It's still kind of glitchy, but hopefully it'll work better. It's been working better today, anyway. So anyway, we're going to start a new scenario, and this one's going to be really fun. Uh, it's a custom custom map. It's called Bridging the Mississippi. It starts right at 1830, and um, it's really fun. And let's see when we get there. I'm playing on easy. I'm not going to mess around with that. So what happened last time with the Civil War one, and uh, I'll start her up, and then I'll be right back. Alright, and here's the briefing. We are young and just starting out. Yep, 1830. And, uh, could last up to 61 years. Yeah, dangerous. And we start out with the Erie and Kalamazoo. And, uh, starting out in Toledo. They want us to connect to Adrian, which is kind of a waste. It's two tiny little towns, but then you can keep on going from there. I don't know why that was in the overview mode the whole time, but okay. And, um, there's Toledo. Now, the way this this game is going to work, I'll start explaining it right now as well, is, um, there's, what is it, four companies total, but only one is really active at a time. Well, it's a little more, there's only one player, us. You know, there's no competition, which is nice. But, um, basically what you do is you first start with Erie and Kalamazoo, you make that railroad, and you build that, uh, where they want you to build it, They'll, there'll be a briefing pretty soon, and then, um, you do good enough with that, you have a contract, it starts in 1830, I think you have until 1842, and then you have to leave Erie and Kalamazoo and start up Lagrange in Memphis, and do what they want you to do on that one for a while and then go down to the next one. It's it's pretty cool like that. There's You can see four different companies here. And um, so basically instead of just running one railroad and trying to connect everywhere with that one, you're going to be running all the different railroads one at a time and kind of in a rotation. And I'll show you the map. Now this is where things get really interesting. Like here at Erie and Kalamazoo, you have rights to Midwest, which is all of this that's lit up now. And all those circles, too. Those different cities there. I don't remember. I've only played this one once, and it was a while ago. So, I know it's fun, and I know I can do it, but, yeah. That's just crossable. North America, right. But anyway, so there you go, and then... Yeah, there's Chicago. And then you got northwest. It's all northwest. And then down here is all central. And each railroad is only going to have one of these big pieces, I think. But the most important thing, that's why it's called Bridging the Mississippi, is down here you have St. Louis and East St. Louis. And in between you have this little strip here of crossable river. But we don't have rights to that yet. It's not a crossable until, you know, plot tells us to cross it basically. And then you can see all this other river. You can zoom in. All of this that's lit up right now is uncrossable. You can never cross it. You never have rights. And then there's certain little spots where you can cross at some point in time. Like see that one right there. That little tiny piece is called Rock Island Bridge. I'm guessing the Rock Island Railroad had a bridge there. So I like that a lot. I think it's very interesting. It's very different. So, um, so basically, you do what the game tells you to. You, you connect to the to whatever cities they want you to. The only thing that's a little, eh, you might not like it as much is the fact that you can't buy industries or build industries. So, 
you know, he, he wanted, he didn't want you to focus on that, I guess. So it really, it's all about just connecting to towns and trying to make as much money as you can. And um, the hard, the hardest part, I think, with this scenario is first starting right now, uh, because it's kind of tricky to start because you have to start with connecting Toledo to Adrian, and as you can see, Adrian is two houses. <laughs> And then, you know, after that, I'll, of course, go up to Detroit as soon as I can. But, um, you don't make a whole lot of money right here. And then to connect anywhere else is pretty far. You know, Lansing's up there. Actually, I don't go to Lansing. I think I go to Grand Rapids and up there. And then Cleveland's way over here. So, um, it's a little tricky to start. But besides that, it's a good scenario. I like it a lot. Alright, let's get started after all that. First off, I want to change my logo. You don't have to, but you know, I got I got all the ones anyway. Missouri Pacific, uh, I'm not sure what railroad this really should be. Uh, let's go with Illinois Central. I don't know if that's right or not, but I figured make it something. And, uh, let's see. So now we gotta go to, over to Adrian, very simple. And now this early in the game, the only locomotives you can get is the little, uh, what is it, 220 planet, and uh, and they're very cheap. They're like 10k, and it is not worth it to ever buy uh, maintenance facilities for them. You just, you just trash them if they get too bad. Um, you know, eventually. Uh, we'll be getting better locomotives, but you know, it's just those those maintenance facilities are a hundred thousand dollars pop. That's a lot of money right now, so um, I'm not going to build. And, uh, let's put a little station here. Okay. Okay. Looking for horses. Yep. Yep. Steam engine. What a surprise. So now he tells us where he wants us to go. Chicago, East St. Louis, and Cleveland. So he wants to spread out a lot and at, until the end of 1841. So that's only 10 years. So uh, this is the part where it, can, where it can be a little bit tricky right in the beginning. But uh, we'll make it. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I almost threw down another station. And uh, water tower. Yeah, we got enough money now. Let's go right up to Detroit, because we're not going to make anything off of Adrian. There's just not much of anything there. Let's see. Yeah, and then that station was pre-placed, so there's really not much of a way around having that big bend there. Thankfully, you can build unconnected track, which is helpful. trouble. Yeah, it's going to be a big station anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Yeah. Actually, can I get away with medium? No. It's just spread out. And another water tower. Get going. And, yeah, planet. It's the only locomotive, and it's really bad. So, um, let's go Detroit, Toledo, back and forth. One to four, that's all we're going to have right now. Need two cars. Oh. And, um, hmm. I don't even know if I want to have a train just going to Adrian. There's not going to be anything there. Um, now, I was just testing this one yesterday, and I had a little, like, corn farm or something up here that I went back and forth to Adrian with, but there's not even that. Oh, there's corn down here and milk. Well, maybe. I just don't want to spend money building tracks somewhere that's not the next town, because we have very little money right now. Let's, well, we got to get somewhere. 
Kalamazoo would be like the main line then towards Chicago. Grand Rapids. You know, Lansing's bigger too. I totally skipped Lansing last time. I think I'll go up to Lansing. That's almost a full star on its own. Then we can have a, a branch for Lansing and Grand Rapids and the main line going through Kalamazoo. Yeah, I'm not going to be really trying to connect to um, like feeder in industries like milk and all that kind of stuff because that stuff really makes its way around the map on its own. We can't buy any industries anyway, so uh, you know, if something's really close and it would be really easy to connect to and I think it might be worth it, I'll do it, but it's, it's really the goods are really making their way around on, its, on their own. Really? Is it this big of a mess up here? Oh, hold on. Okay, it's not exactly how I wanted to make this, but um, there's actually a lot of little hills here, so that'll work. And there's Lansing. As far as water towers, uh, it's probably right in the middle. Good thing about the planets is you can get away with the water towers pretty spread out. Well, there is one there, okay. <laughs> because, um, you know, they don't use much. But the bad thing is they're really bad on grades, so see, that's why I was going through so much trouble trying to get even the twos I was trying to avoid. And even these twos, and there's a couple threes right here. Even that is going to be trouble with those little planets. But, um, so let's get a train run. Maybe I'll try to stop an Adrian here and there. Let's see, like, Lansing to Toledo and then back to Adrian on the way to Lansing. I'm pretty sure if there's something in Toledo that wants to go straight to Lansing, it'll still come along even if it stops an Adrian. It'll just bring it through. So, we'll do that. Yeah, I'll just put it on one for now. Yep. This one's a long enough track, I guess I could try to, to double it. Not double it, I mean, you know, run another train. And, and what did I just do? Lansing to Toledo. Yeah. So this one, I guess I could start in Toledo and go straight to Lansing. Come to Adrian through on the way back. Yeah. I'm just worried that they're going to be waiting for cargo, even just for one car. But uh, it'll pick up eventually. Yep. <laughs> I knew that was pushing it. Uh, it'll pick up. Yeah, I'm going to stick. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure what I wanted to call this company, but I'll call it Illinois Central. It's, it's alright. You know, I don't even know if Illinois Central's ran here. It, it's a Midwest company, I'm sure. Yep, really good. A lot of this scenario is just going to be watching the trains wait for the money to come in. kind of on your toes a little bit because you, you got a pretty short time limit, but there's not a whole lot you can do about that. You can take out bonds. I will be taking out some bonds, but you don't want to go too crazy with them. But, um, we did pretty good for the first year. Just right up to Lansing. That's pretty good. Well, this one's making good money. Hope you guys can hear me alright. It's always kind of a tricky battle here trying to get the sounds recording right. Back to the old microphone again. Which is starting to short out on me, I think. Yeah, one car. But it's making 41k, so it's pretty good. Oh, the Adrian. Okay, good. Yeah. Up to Lansing. 
probably going to be pretty slow pulling out of there. It's threes and a curve. Alright, well, before the end of the year, let's see. Uh, maybe we'll do a little bit more. Maybe we'll get up to Grand Rapids, or at least part of the way. Yeah, we're 400k almost. Thankfully, this scenario, the track building isn't extremely expensive. That was part of the really tough part about the Civil War ones. And anytime you wanted to try to get anywhere, it just killed you with the track building. Let's see. Uh, kind of ran myself into a dead end there. Yeah, that's a little funky, but it's okay. Alright, um, I think I'm probably getting a little low on time. Let me check. Yeah. Alright, I will see you guys next time where we continue this scenario and, uh, connect to a few more towns, hopefully. Alright, later.